Hi everybody, Stu AG6AG. Today I'm testing the UV82 HP 8 watt HT. Now, this is a nice little radio. I really like the feel in my hand and stuff. Let's see how it performs on our uh, spurious emissions as well as our power test and see if it's close to what we believe to be compliant with part 97. Uh, hey, full disclosure, these tests are for entertainment purposes only. We neither certify nor uh, fail these radios in real life. You are encouraged to do your own testing and make your own decisions before you purchase uh, this radio or before you use it. Anyway, with that, let's... Oh, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video or any of my videos, uh, click the like buttons on them. You know, it really gets them in front of more people. So with that, let's get to it. All right, let's get started with the UV82HP. I've got the specs on the transmitter right up here. We're looking for a uh, low power VHF of 1 watt. Uh, mid-power VHF uh, of 4 watts, and we're looking for, wow, check it out, a high-power rating of 8 watts. So, let's go ahead and run the test on this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and key up on low power. Let's see where we're at. I want to make sure my peak's right. And I'm seeing, hey, look at that, 30 dB, that is 1 watt. So, Let's go ahead and move up to mid-power. All right, we're set for mid-power. Let's go ahead and make sure our peak's right. That is at 35 to 35 and a half, maybe bouncing up close to 36. So, yeah, 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 yeah. We're, I, I think we're probably right around four watts, maybe a little under. Um, I'll do the math later on it, but... I would call that a pass. Let's go ahead and look at high power. All right, high power. Let's key it. Go ahead and do the peak search again. Make sure we're there. Ah, well, that's not 8 watts now, is it? Um, hmm. Closer to 5.5? All right, well, you know, the numbers don't lie, so we're going to run with that. Let's move on and set up for the next test, which is the harmonic, uh, sporadic uh, transmit issues here. And let's see how far off we're on the fundamental frequencies. All right, so we're set up to uh, go ahead and do the harmonics for uh, its sporadic output. You know, the bad stuff. Let's see what happens. I've gone ahead and keyed. Uh, I am going to do a single pass here just to capture uh, all the current stuff. We'll unkey. You know, just glancing at this, um, I'm going to say that we might be out of spec. But let's go ahead and toss our adjustments in and we'll cover that in a minute. <sighs> well, yeah. If I take a look at my dbm out um my goodness the second harmonic and the third harmonic both fail on that um the rest pass and they're all under 40 db uh but from the mathematical strategies here and we're even being gracious i think we have a a radio that does not comply. But remember, this is only for entertainment purposes, and we neither condemn or approve any of these radios. This is strictly for you to evaluate, do your own tests, and make your own choices. Anyway, with that, I think that tells it all for now. We'll see you on the back. Well, yeah, Baofeng Radio, um, second and third harmonic, not really where they should be. Although, you know, you got to take this all kind of in stride, too. Um, I have seen worse, 
But according to our tests, uh, this isn't really uh, a compliant radio. Now, that said, remember, all this is for entertainment purposes only. We neither certify nor do we disapprove any radio that we test. This is just one test of many tests that have done been done on these radios, and I encourage you to seek them out and make your own decisions based on your own evidence. Anyway, with that, Hey, thanks so much for joining me, and uh, I'm Stu, AG6AG, and I hope to hear you out there on the air. 73, everybody.